again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders uh, from all over the world. This is FX Chief here. Uh, I want to be uh, talking today about a great little setup that is getting ready to take place that may be worth even a thousand pip move on the Euro US dollar. But before I start talking about that, I want to just address a couple things. Uh, many of you are trading in the forex markets many of you somewhat feel like a disaster on your way to becoming a master trader you got to remember in life life is all about 10 percent of the things that happen to you and 90 percent of how you go about handling it and when it comes time to trading believe it or not trading is really about 10 percent skill and 90 percent all in your head it's the psychological side of trading that creates a championship. See, I've learned that the difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. I'm real adamant about this. Success at anything is not a fantasy. It's a formula. And the question is, do you know the formula on that thing you want to get involved with? Many of you are here to learn how to become successful traders. Many of you are here to learn how to become a master trader. Many of you are here in your journey to becoming that master trader. What you need to realize is it's not a fantasy. It's a formula. And one of the things we're real clear about here at Market Traders Institute is that formula. We can teach you that formula. But part of that formula, part of that head game is realizing this. Did you Do you realize that one thing you will learn as a trader is that the mental resources you use to get what you want in everyday life will not work in the trading environment. The power and control that are necessary to manipulate the markets, make them do what you want them to do, are way beyond your control. And believe it or not, the external constraints that exist in society to control your behavior, just kind of like this picture here, you know, there's others trying to control and manipulate us and then we turn around and we learn how it's done and then we turn around and we try to control others and before you know it gee we learn a few things on how we can start to control and start to manipulate uh, our environment and and, uh, and other people but the fact of the matter is the external constraints that exist in society to control your behavior and other people's behavior does not exist in the markets. The markets have absolutely no power or control over you. The markets have no expectation of your behavior. And the markets have no regard for your welfare. This market doesn't care whether you extract millions of dollars out of it or whether you lose millions of dollars. It doesn't care whether you make $1,000 a day or lose $1,000 a day. In fact, you can't control or manipulate the markets and the markets have absolutely no power or control over you, then the responsibility for what you perceive and for your resulting behavior only resides in you. The one thing you can control is yourself. You can control the level of education you take on before you start trading in the market. You can control deciding to get involved in the market with a clear strategy and a trading plan. You can control that. You can also control whether or not you're going to even educate yourself before you get in the market. But whatever you do, what has worked for you in life will not work for you in the markets. And as a trader, you have the power either to give yourself money or to give your money to other traders. And the ways in which you choose to do this will be determined by a number of psychological factors that have little or nothing to do with the markets. And this will be so until you acquire some new skills and also learn how to adapt yourself to suit the conditions of the market because what you've done in your life won't work in this market. And I'm here to tell you, 
To operate successfully in this environment, you will need to learn how to control yourself in ways that may be completely alien to you. You will have to learn a strategy, and if you don't learn a strategy, a successful strategy of how this market works, you will succumb to temptation. You'll be driven to get in the market based on greed, not based on strategy. As you get in the market and it starts to move against you, you'll be quickly introduced to fear. You'll get out not knowing what you're doing and without a trading strategy, you'll become very disappointed with the outcome of your trade and slowly be brought down to your financial needs. One of the things I know for a fact is that champion traders learn how to win their trades first way before they enter the market. See, champion traders create a trading plan and then they trade their plan. Well, defeated traders enter the market and then, boy, they're busy trying to fight to win. Man, I had no idea this market could go against me like this. I had no idea I'd be this much in the hole. See, and before you know it, they're on a journey of becoming a disaster trader instead of a master trader. See, the problem is... Most traders try to force the market to move in their direction. Don't try to force this market to do what you want it to do. Learn how the market moves and trade in that direction. Because it's not about what you want. You must learn to want what the markets want. Then trade in that direction. Want what the markets want, not what you want. Now, let's go learn what the euro wants. Trading, successful trading is not a fantasy, everybody. It's a formula. So I'm going to share with you part of the formula. Listen, listen, here's, listen to me real good. The larger time frames control the price movement of the smaller time frames. That's why what you see here on my screen, you see a Euro US dollar monthly chart, a Euro US dollar weekly chart right underneath it, a Euro US dollar daily chart, and a Euro US dollar two hour chart. Now let me show you how this all works. This all works by a trader learning the skill of how to read charts and starting with a monthly chart. Now the euro wants to move up. Why? Because part of becoming a skillful trader is learning how to draw trend lines. And usually when the market breaks what's called an inner trend line, it moves to the outer trend line. Now you can see that the euro for several years since 2008 has been in a downtrend. And you can also see that as it goes in a downtrend, it waves, it waves down, then it waves up, and then it waves down, and then it waves up, and then it waves down, then it waves up, and it waves down. Guess what? It's time to wave back up. And where's it gonna go? Well, long term, long term, just like when it waved back up here, boy, how many pips did it wave back up? This wave was 2,800 pips up. This wave from here to here. Look at this right up here in the top left-hand corner where it says range or pips. Look at this. This wave up was 3,000 pips. Look at this. This wave up right here. This was 1,898 pips. You know what? This wave has the potential of doing it. This wave's all the way up to this trend line. This is a 2,500 pip move. However, right off the bat, I think we're going to rally right up to about this pivot point here, which is about a 1300 pip move. So everybody keep your eyes open for the euro to rally about 1300 pips. Why? Because technically it's broken an inner downtrend line. You can see it with this candle. It's broken it and started to rally. So let's go down to a weekly chart. Let's see the signs that it's rallying. Look how it broke this trend line right here. It broke this down trend line on a weekly chart, which is a sign it's going to continue to rally. Now, on a daily chart, look at on the daily chart, it broke this down trend line. And just like it's waving, waving up, waving down, waving back up. So the real question is, where's a good place to get in? Well, more than likely, this is slowly going to work its way down to about 1.0900, which is about 200 pips away. Within this area right in here, this is going to be the area where this is going to turn around and start to rally. Where do I think it could potentially rally? 
See, successful traders learn the skill of how to read charts. And right here is a lot of tremendous past resistance to become future support. So one of the things we're going to keep our eyes open for is a bullish candlestick formation to appear on the daily chart. Once a bullish candlestick formation appears on a daily chart, let me tell you something. This is going to be on its way on its 1300 pip journey. Now listen everybody, if you don't know how to successfully trade or you would like to learn this skill, I'm going to welcome you all to uh, come visit us here at Market Traders Institute. Even come and in, get involved in FX Chiefs trading room. Uh, this is a room every day where I work with traders that are on their way to becoming master traders. Uh, I literally trade with them. I literally go over 21 currency pairs, as you can see all up here, the Aussie Canadian, Aussie JPY, Aussie New Zealand, all the way down uh, to the dollar index. 21 currency pairs. We evaluate every day looking for trades. Uh, I average, on average, anywhere from 1,500 to 4,000 pips a week on, on trades that we find. So if, you're, if you really want to learn how to become a master trader, you need to be mentored by a master trader. Having said that, everybody, uh, this is The Chief, and I hope to see you soon.